this month. Name is Stacy, and I've been here 19 years. Name is Sam Bunchim. I work here a year and a half. I'm Thomas Walker, and I'm, and I'm from uh, Philadelphia, PA. 22 years in this kitchen. Leon Joyner. I'm the assistant catering manager. Been here for 34 years. My name is John Francone. And uh, I've been at Haverford College for, God, 21 years. Um, it's kind of weird. I, after working with people for almost 20 years, and almost like a family, and, and i got to be really, really honest, I hate my position right now because it's like I knew you for, I mean, if I would know you for 20 years, and all of a sudden I may have to make a decision on whether or not you lose your position. I don't know, I, I, I'm really not happy about it. The biggest cuts they have to make are like in, in benefits. Actually, even though a lot of the benefits here are changing, I think they're still good for me, you see? And they're good for a lot of other people too. Well, all over the college, they're gonna cut back on a lot of things. And I think that like the food is the most visible part. I mean, we're cutting in all departments, but when kids go and eat, that's what they're gonna notice. Why make something, in, in, you know, a department weaker that's already not, it's barely. Barely making it. You're barely making it, right, so. Some of the food's being left out more, they're not, being able to serve as many things. I was very disappointed at the end of last semester when there was no cheese. <laughs> I, do, I do know that they're not getting as much fresh fruit. We've cut back to one organic milk. We've changed a little bit of the structure in the morning as far as breakfast wise, how we serve it. What I've heard is that you can only get hot food at breakfast until 9 a.m. But I only ever come after 9 a.m. and only eat cereal, so that's really fun. <laughs> I mean, every department has to make cuts, and I know I think there's a bit of a feeling of administration, which I don't I don't know if I can agree with. But the DC is either wasteful or spends too much. Like every year, John said they're always over budget on employees, like way over budget, always over budget on food. So uh, they're they're in just a really tough spot. And I think it's really like talked about in the student body as well. Like, what are you talking about? We talk about this literally every single day. Literally every single day. I guess I haven't noticed like a particular downturn in quality because quality was started low to begin with. Uh, a gentleman had mentioned that the food wasn't that good. Trust me, the food is. The food is pretty good. Why end up getting, excuse me, the bullshit that our food sucks and Bryn Mawr's food is great? Yes, tons of times. If, as a community, we are supposed to be Quaker and we're supposed to talk, we're supposed to deal with each other and try to work through things, we don't really do that. And I think that that's something that's really important. Because if you have a problem, I mean, in a Quaker community, you talk about it. But yet, when it comes to dining services, the easiest thing to say is, food sucks. I mean the thing is, it's just so hard to please everyone as well as keep all their workers employed. I talk to most of the students and they're nice to me and I'm nice to them and some are my friends. What we're going to do is we're going to place some accountability on students as well as the community and I think what we're trying to do and um, I'm really excited about this is that I'm working with student council and I'm trying to work with a lot of other student groups is try to make sure that we're being fair to everybody. Um, I don't know where we're going to go. It's, it's going to be an intriguing part of our lives and my life uh, as far as the next step. My kids, they're like my children. That's the bottom line.